The following program was produced by the United States Courts. Hello, I'm Bridget Lyles with the United States Courts. The Eastern District of New York has created an exciting new court camp focused on middle school and high school students that allows them to experience the courts and interact with professionals in the justice system. Dave Lewin has more on the story. It's no secret that the U.S. legal system can be confusing and intimidating to young people whose perceptions are oftentimes skewed by social media and pop culture. In a real trial, you wouldn't do that, obviously. The federal judges in the Eastern District Court of New York, in partnership with the Federal Bar Association, are changing that by educating young Americans through an innovative civics program called the Justice Institute. The first goal is to have students understand the criminal justice system. The second goal is to potentially inspire them to have a job or career in the criminal justice system. And the third goal is to give them basic advocacy skills that they can use if they were to become a lawyer to give them a sense of what it's like to be a lawyer in a courtroom or just to use advocacy skills in whatever walk of life they may end up with in the future. And it was also really important to us that it was a free program to offer it to kids that maybe wouldn't have an opportunity to otherwise participate in a program of this nature. In its first year, 20 middle schools and high schools on Long Island, New York, participated in the Justice Institute. 90 students committed a week of their summer to the program at the Alphonse D'Amato U.S. Courthouse and the Toro Center Law School right across the street in Central Islip. We put together an all-star cast of speakers, including FBI agents, a Secret Service agent, seven federal judges. We have U.S. attorneys, private practitioners, we have people from the federal defenders. Uh, we have 30 law students that have signed up and volunteered to mentor. So we got to learn about basically every aspect of law from local policing to being a special agent. And every step of the way we've been able to ask questions and be interactive and learn. That would be a yes or no question. Would that, would that they're giving them basic instructions on how to give an opening, how to give a closing, all the basic trial techniques that you'd want to give to a law student or a lawyer. And then they're watching real court proceedings this week. We also have teamed uh, law students from Toro Law School to work with each team to help them get ready for a mock trial competition. You want to be listening. You don't want just want to be rifling through your papers. It allows the students who spend their first and second and third years learning about the law to actually take what they've learned and use it for this mock trial competition in preparing the high school students. This gives them an indication of what they want to do, whether if they want to be attorneys. Listening to all of the different speakers, especially the defense attorneys, they have shown me different things that I can do with the law. As the week progressed and students prepared for the mock trial, they also heard from esteemed law professors and civil rights advocates about their rights as young people. Law schools and courts are the perfect partnership to spread the message to young people that they are part of building our democracy and that in order to do that, they need to know the basics, the fundamentals. High school students ought to be aware of the kinds of issues that are being dealt with in this program. What goes on in the courts, what the rights of citizens are when they get in contact with police. If you have an authority figure yelling at a 16-year-old, it scares the 16-year-old. Yelling is part of coercion. Students witnessed the inner workings of the court and even participated in a naturalization ceremony over which Judge Bianco presided. On the last day of the Justice Institute, mentors led their student teams through two elimination rounds of heated competition in front of tough judges Overruled. and proud parents, culminating in a final mock trial before a three-judge panel. I'm very proud of what we've done. Just the sheer variety of all the things that we got to see while in this program, all the things we learned. Just the resources and the people they met, I think it's an amazing opportunity for some kids who might not have it. I would encourage communities all across the nation to adopt what Judge Bianco has started here, integrating the community with the law school and the federal courthouse, together with the next generation of leaders, lawyers, and people protecting our rights. To find out more about programs like this, visit the Educational Resources page on the U.S. Courts website. Reporting with the U.S. Courts in Washington, I'm Bridget Lyles.